everyone, it's me, Gemma, and I'm here at the Crumbs and Doilies kitchen, and I'm a massive fan of nuts. Um, I like all kinds of nuts. I can never decide which is my favourite, but today I'm feeling pecan-y, and I'm going to show you a really, really simple way of pimping up your pecans by making pecan nut brittle. Here you go. This recipe is really easy to remember. There's only a couple of ingredients, but there are a couple of things that you need to do before you start anything. One of them is to grease your spoon or your um, heat-proof spatula, and the other thing is to line a baking tin with baking parchment so your brittle doesn't stick to it. So I've got a heavy bottom saucepan here, and to that I'm just going to add half a cup of water. And a full cup of caster sugar. And then I'm going to put it on a really low heat, and I'm not going to stir it. And the reason is I want all that sugar to dissolve before I ramp the heat up and stir it, otherwise I'm going to get some crystallisation. So all my sugar is almost dissolved, so I'm just going to ramp the heat up a couple of notches just to get things moving. So it's bubbling away nicely and what I'm looking for is a light amber colour and because this happens quite quickly, you mustn't take your eyes off this. If you leave to go to the loo or make a cup of tea or answer the door, you're in big trouble. So don't leave this spot, keep your eyes peeled and wait for that lovely amber colour to arrive. Right, my sugar has gone a really nice amber colour so I'm going to turn the heat off and into the pan, I'm going to put two cups of pecan nuts. And because sugar cools down really quickly and because uh, all the oils are coming out of the nuts and it's cool nuts going into hot sugar, I want to work really, really quickly here. So I'm just going to pour them in and give them a really good stir to coat all the nuts. And now, moving really quickly, I'm just going to pour it or onto that baking parchment, just to spread it out a little bit. You can smooth it out a little bit if you want it a bit flatter, but I quite like piling mine up so it's in massive chunks. So now you just need to leave it to cool and resist temptation to touch it or eat it at this point because it is going to stay piping hot for a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So leave it to one side, wait for it to completely cool down and then it is ready to chop up and eat. Right, my pecans are cool and completely brittle, as the name would suggest. Um, they're completely covered in that lovely caramel, and now it is time to break it up. And there it is, delicious pecan brittle. You can make this for a party or even better, you can bag this up and give it to your friends for Christmas if you're short of presents. Um, I'm just gonna eat this. So in the meantime, if you like this video and you wanna subscribe, then there's the link there. Don't forget to do that. And I will be back next week with a festive treat for you guys. So I'll see you then.